Hey guys, welcome to our fourth lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019, and in today's lesson we will learn how to configure settings, configure print settings for presentations. So the exam objectives are print all or part of a presentation, print notes pages, print handouts and print in color, grayscale or black and white. So let's start with the first objective. We have to go to the file tab and choose print and under settings we have the option to print all slides. You can see that now all of my 102 slides are selected for print. Next up we could print only the current slide, so this would print only one slide. Also, we could select in PowerPoint in the slide, salt, slide sorter, for example, or slide view certain slides and print the selection. So let's do this. So I have selected slides 15 through 17, and you can see that print selection prints only the three slides that we have selected. Okay. And the last option and widely used option is to print a custom range. Notice that when I have any of these options and I start typing into this text box, the PowerPoint automatically recognizes it as a custom range and starts printing it. So, for example, slides 5 to 7 would be like that, 5-7. Okay. Next up, you could write that in this format, so 5,6,7 and you can see that we have these same three slides and we could also combine these options, so these formats so for example 5,6,7 would give us the same result Okay. Next up, we have to learn how to print notes pages. So let's just choose all slides. And here you have the option to choose the notes page. So then the PowerPoint would print all the slides alongside with notes down below. So we can see, for example, on the first slide we have our speaker note. Next up, uh, we have to know for the exam how to print handouts. So here we have various options to print handouts, for example, six slides vertical. For example, this, op this option, three slides, is pretty interesting because it gives some space for written notes. So that is how you print handouts. And there is also a hidden option to print handouts and more customizable. For that I will just switch to another presentation because it's shorter. So we have to go to the export and create handouts and you can see that when we choose this option the PowerPoint puts all slides and notes in a Word document. So we can choose create handouts we can, for example, choose blank lines next to slides. OK. And now PowerPoint is collaborating with Microsoft Word to create this document for us. OK. So you can see that we have slide numbers, slides and some space for written notes. Let's, let's switch to our previous presentation and the last objective is to print in color, grayscale or black and white. So we can choose these options here at the bottom, color, grayscale and pure black and white. So these are things you should know for the exam. I encourage you to go through this and practice them. Now I would like to just to show you a few more things, a few more options to print in PowerPoint. So 
to demonst demonstrate them, I have made some edits to slide number two. You can see that I have hidden this slide. I have inserted a comment and a drawing. Okay, so to print all of these in PowerPoint, we go to the file, print, and in the first option under settings, we have to enable to print hidden slides. So you can see that when I go to slides two, it will now be part of the printing set. I will just ch choose back the color option. Next up, we have the option to frame slides. So this is handy when your slides are purely white or at least at the edges, so you know where the slide ends. You have the options to print comments, so this would insert the initials of the person that has inserted the comment on the presentation, and also the option to print ink, like that. And the other few options are, for example, to print one side and on both sides and yeah, so both sides flip pages on long edge and on short edge. And you have the option to print the pages, the slides collated or uncollated. So uncollated would mean that all that the first that all copies of your presentation would be like first, first, first slide, second, second, second slide, and third, third, third slide, and so on. So now you should be an expert on printing in PowerPoint. I hope you find this lesson valuable. If so, please leave a like down below. Please subscribe for more free presentation training materials and see you in the next time. Bye!